Barry, aren't you done painting this fence yet? No, it'll be a couple more days. Couple more days? The first day alone you did about a third of the work. And every day since, it's gotten less and less. It looks like you only painted two or three feet today. Well, that's because, Carl, the trips back to the paint bucket keep getting longer and longer oh, and very. longer. In a dark coat and trousers, full beard on my face. My wife thinks that I'm handsome. There's no accounting for taste. Up each day at 4.30. I go to bed before nine. My arms grow weary and my patience is thin. I'm tired of slopping these swine. It's pretty hot in their hayloft. I got that barnyard smell. I'd get a cold drink of water, but my son took a bath in the well. So I light up a lantern, and I sit on their hay. I tell my wife to get down on her knees. She thinks I want her to pray. Welcome to my home in Pennsylvania. Such a simple place. Such a simple place. Not a hectic pace. We're working real hard at my home in Pennsylvania. It's real plain, you see. It's real plain, you see. No electricity. Here in Lancaster County, everything was just fine. We hadn't had no heathens here since 1869. We had a fine little village, Amish farm side by side. Till that widow tried to milk that bull, he kicked her and she died. Some rich guy bought her farmland. At the sheriff's sale, says he's got three more houses in L.A., Maui, and Vail. On the day that he moved in, I told my wife this ain't good. Oh my God, look, he's English. There goes the neighborhood. I don't think that he's from Pennsylvania. He doesn't wear a hat. He doesn't wear a hat. Yeah, what's up with that? He'll run down the value of my home in Pennsylvania. He don't come from here. He don't come from here. I think he might be queer. My neighbor's sick and he's twisted. He drives a Mercedes Benz. I know that he's gonna burn in hell. Him and all his dumb friends. When he drives past my buggy, he says, "Man, you're really weird." He asks me why I don't drive a car. I say, "Why don't you grow a beard?" So I called on my kinfolk, and we built a big fence, ran it all the way around his house, and we ain't seen him since. We hear their voices echoing off of the hill. They keep begging me to let them out, but I don't think I will. Stupid Amish, let me out of here! Let me out of here! <laughs> no way, Jose. You ain't never getting out of there. We fix your wagon. Yeah. I'll fix you guys. Where'd you go? Oh, oh! Oh, my God.